It is 5.30 and CBS4 continues to follow breaking news right now. Kevin McCarthy has become the first speaker ever removed by the U.S. House. That historic vote happened just within the hour. Far-right Republicans led the historic effort to remove McCarthy. Skyler Henry has this late report now from Capitol Hill, including what may come next in Washington. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has been stripped of his power. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Florida Congressman Matt Gates filed the motion to remove Kevin McCarthy after the speaker turned to Democrats to help pass a short-term spending bill to keep the government open. The one thing that the White House, House Democrats, and many of us on the conservative side of the Republican caucus would argue is that the thing we have in common Kevin McCarthy said something to all of us at one point or another that he didn't really mean and never intended to live up to. But then it was Gates who needed Democrats to remove McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy is not trustworthy. Uh, we don't trust him. Their own conference doesn't trust him. Uh, we've just lurched from crisis to crisis uh, with him. As speaker. The decision to vacate the chair means the House will now plunge into a battle to elect the next Speaker of the House, though McCarthy likely can and will run again. The overwhelming majority of my party supports the Speaker that we elected. The House Republican drama comes as Congress is still grappling with crucial issues. We have a government that will shut down in 40 days. Uh, we have a Ukraine war that needs to be funded in the next 15 days. The House cannot proceed on any other issue until the new speaker is elected. So this is still a very developing situation, all of it happening in real time. North Carolina Congressman Patrick McHenry was named Speaker Pro Tem after the vote. The House is actually in recess as they try to figure out who's going to run to be the next Speaker of the House, which is still very unclear. Now, Indiana lawmakers did split their votes. Uh, the Democrats, uh, Andre Carson, Frank Mervan, voting to remove McCarthy. Indiana Republicans voted against the measure.